Hey guys, my name is Gina James Girl and welcome back to episode. We are playing the new season that was released today of Mean Girls Spring Break. This is the third season. If you haven't watched the first one, you go make sure you go ahead and watch it before you watch this. The wonderful people at Pocket Gems have kindly given you, my viewers, uh, a link where you can go ahead and click. I'll put it in the top line of the description where you can get 10 free gems and 10 free passes. So if you do play episode, make sure you go ahead and go and get them. Let's go ahead and start episode two. At the end of last episode, we were told that we were going to die by this fortune teller. So, quite exciting so far. Hi guys. Welcome back to Karen Uncensored. Coming to you live from the National Greek Conference kickoff party here on the beaches of the beautiful St. Jezebel. You have enough signal to stream from here. I have zero bars and I really need to talk to Mika. No way. There's one right there. there and there's another bar over there. And that's doing half price virgin margaritas till midnight. Correct her. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth correcting Karen. You'd be correcting her constantly if you tried to. Thanks for the intel. I might take advantage of that. Okay, sweetie. Let's walk through this again. When it says no service, your videos aren't actually actually going anywhere <laughs> she thinks she's streaming and she's just videoing this is bad green eyed Regina is nowhere to be found oh I get this competition doesn't mean much to her but this scholarship could save us both fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt yeah and her ditching us like this does not bode well for the competition making matters worse that psycho psychic made my anxiety shoot through the roof don't let some discount fortune teller rattle your nerves. Maybe go back to the hotel and try calling Miko again. You might get service on higher ground. Apparently they discontinued landline service here three years ago, so that's my only option. Right now, I'm practically too crazy to function. Regina or no Regina, I'll make sure to shake all of the right hands to get U of E in good standing. You're a soldier. <laughs> Check out the loser in the pink flamingo shirt. I'm pretty sure he stole that from my grandma's closet. Ugh, bitches. Oh my god, calm down. She's obviously only kidding. Yeah, obviously. I'm Stacy. This is Stacy with an IE. And Stacy, double E. University of Beverly Hills. Damien, University of Evanston. Never heard of it. Really? It's near Chicago. U of E is actually ranked first in, well, Darien. Our sorority built a school in St. Jezebel last year. So unless you can outdo educating 70 underprivileged St. Jezebelian youths, no, we can't. We can't beat that. We advise you to enjoy your vacation because UBH has this competition on lockdown. Well, we advise you to consider deep conditioning treatments because you all have peroxide damage on lockdown. So congratulations on both fronts. Good comeback, Damien. <laughs> hey, Damien. Where did you guys disappear to? We decided to go on this audio guided walking tour of Old Town St. Jezebel. You're putting me to sleep just talking about it. No, it was awesome. We passed this town square where they burned witches until 1930s. Could explain what happened to Regina. <laughs> and in all honesty, you two are 19 going on 60. You're, you're on vacation. Explore. Be adventurous. Go wild. We're not that boring. Live your truth, baby girl. Just because you guys are boring doesn't mean we don't love you. If you'll excuse me, i got to go introduce myself to the chairwoman of the National Greek Association. Who knows? Oh, this is cute together. Boring? Seriously? We're not boring, are we? No, of course not. Do boring people choose death by fuego salsa over the miles? Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay, so maybe we're kind of boring. If that's what they class as exciting, having hot, spicy salsa, maybe they are a little boring. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. I believe our hotel is completely booked. Are you sure? By the way, I love that lipstick. It makes your eyes pop. Oh, thank you. Know what? Let me try one more thing. 
You are a lifesaver, Flavia. I've been to like seven different hotels and none of them have any wounds. Okay, unfortunately, we're totally full. There's nothing I can... Oh, she ain't happy about that. Security! <laughs> oh, I should learn more manners? Well, you should stop taking makeup tips from circus clowns. Hey! <laughs> she doesn't like not getting her own way, does she? Mm-hmm. What's got you so feisty, mamacita? First off, you're disgusting. I can smell you from here. If you insist on bathing in the ocean, don't do it near the sewage outlet. Second, that's not a single hotel vacancy on this entire island, which means I'm going to have to sleep in that flavoured and flop house my stingy school booked for us. Aha, uh -huh, you're here for the Greek conference too. Know what's, fli fr know what's flea free? My boat. <gasps> hmm. And Chasman, that's me by the way, is extending a very warm welcome to you, sweet thang. You have a boat, like a yacht? It's like a yacht in that it floats. It's probably more like a shrimp boat that I spray painted white. But we can get her rocking just the same. Words cannot express the depth of my disgust. Move along, skeets. If you change your mind, Chasman's down in Slip 23 at the docks by Senior Hangover's Island Saloon. A bar! Hallelujah! A single beautiful bar of service. Greenoid! Mika, I've been trying to call you non-stop, but this island, it's like 40 square miles of cellular dead zone. Hello, Greenoid? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, that's better. Cruddy connection. What's going on there? Um, I'm having a great time. I'm having a, ta I'm having a great time. This island is so beautiful. These are all the cool events for the conference and a ton of college students. Sounds like paradise. Honestly, it's a little hard to enjoy it. All I can think about is you and what you were saying before I left, or trying to say. Yeah? I know this sounds silly, but I went to a fortune teller and she knew about it, about you crying. For real, Mika, it was so eerie. And then she said, hello, you're breaking up. I said, she basically said you were going to leave me and I was going to die. <laughs> It really freaked me out and I've been trying to call you non-stop. Mika? Mika? Hello? Tissue? Oh, who's this Victoria? I don't know her. No thanks, I'm alright. I, I had a total deja vu when I saw you. It was like looking at myself two years ago. What happened two years ago? I came here to compete in the National Greek Conference and my girlfriend broke up with me the night before our trip. Yikes, that's rough. I'm actually in sort of a similar situation. N not the breakup part though. I'm here for the NGC too. Wait, are you Victoria Melquidades? Delta Mutau, University of Orlando? The one and only. You guys won two years ago. That we did. Somebody certainly did her homework. You bet I did. I need that scholarship. I'm Greenoid, by the way. I like your attitude, Greenoid. I want to help you. Can I give you some advice for winning the National Greek Conference? Get her tip for 22 gems. Yes, please. I'm all ears. First of all, whatever is going on with your boyfriend, you need to put out of your mind. If your head's not in the competition, you're not going to win. Period. Yeah, it's true. It's good advice. Believe me, I know that's hard advice to follow. I have no other choice. Don't forget, this competition is all about winning over the judges. How do I win over the judges? Work the crowd. If the audience isn't engaged when you're on stage speaking, the judges aren't going to be either. Have you done any acting? I was a theatre kid in high school. Then let me put it in terms you'll understand. Have stage presence. Gotcha. Cherise, Rodney and Martina are ultimately the ones who choose the winning team and their choice is almost always the crowd favourite. Thanks Victoria, that was super helpful. Oh, I'm not done yet. 
<laughs> she's got loads of advice for us. If you want a serious pro tip, the one thing that will help you clinch this thing, make an effort to befriend Cherise. I won't say she plays favourites with her friends, but she does. <laughs> Noted. Cherise is definitely a fashionista, so the fastest way to her heart is with killer style. Thankfully, my friend who's competing is the best dressed person in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> Are you coaching her? Exactly, and she's given me a cut of her scholarship money. She sounds nice. Regina's complicated. <laughs> You're going to rock this thing. Just remember my advice. Work the crowd, win over the judges, dress to impress. Easy enough? We'll see if that's easy enough, should we? Oh dear, Katie doesn't look happy. Nobody looks happy, actually. Greenoid, what's wrong? I finally got through to Mika, but the connection was so terrible I couldn't get a full sentence in before the call dropped. So now, I'm freaking out. Is he really going to break up with me? Oh, sweetheart. You need to go back to that fortune teller. Back to the fortune teller? What's the point? She made it pretty clear that Mika is going to dump me and I will promptly die. You're taking these predictions way too literally. How can I take them any other way? Grill her for more info. Ask her questions until you get the full story. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's take a selfie. Gretchen, now really isn't the best time. <laughs> sure it is. To get your mind off your boyfriend drama. Okay. Say best friends, worst hotel room. Oh, sweet. Don't share. Okay, now we'll go back to that lady's fortune telling shack and I'll get you another reading, my treat. Yeah, go back and grill her for details, or expose her as a fraud, or both. And ask her how we can win the National Greek Conference. We're going to need all the tips we can get to beat the Stacys. I, it would give me a serious peace of mind to get info from the fortune teller, and she may even have some tips for winning the competition. Go back to the fortune teller. I mean, I feel like I don't really want to go. I mean, it's a gem option, so I feel like it's a good thing to go, but I'm going to turn down the offer. I'm going to turn it down. I don't want to go. No thanks, Gretchen. I'm too exhausted for that. Suit yourself, Jemsical. Guys, there's no Wi-Fi. No phone service. I can't do my show. How do I even exist? Deep. <laughs> I wouldn't worry, Karen. You could be asleep and you'd still be ten times less boring than me and Grandpa Samuels. Wait, did you guys, like, just realise that you're a boring geezer couple? I'm craving animal crackers from the vending machine. Want some? <laughs> this entire island is booked, so I'm stuck staying with you losers in this livestock pen of a hotel room. Lecture, Regina, sympathise, let's lecture. Stop acting like such a princess. We're dealing with this room too, you know. And if you want that photo shoot so badly, maybe at least pretend to act like you're part of this team. Yeah, but what you didn't have to deal with was the pervy demi-hobo who tried to lure me onto his boat. He's not like feet and body spray. I bet he's like a judge or something, isn't he? You should have been there tonight. We needed you. There were these three girls from University of Beverly Hills, all blonde, all named Stacy, and they were all so hot, even I had a moment. <laughs> Whatever. They're serious competition, Regina. Not to be taken lightly. They opened a school on St. Jezebel last year. A school? How is that even possible? This competition is five days long. If we want to compete on that level, we need to do something to benefit the local community. You're not wrong. What if we rounded up all the islanders and gave them ambush makeovers? <laughs> We're not going to ambush anyone, Gretchen. <laughs> She's crying again. She's always crying. Back from your solo camping trip already? Let me guess, you forgot your collage kit. <laughs> no, I just can't keep myself away from you, Regina. <laughs> Why aren't you on the eco-reserve? Why aren't I? because every single boat on this island has already been chartered. Thanks to you, Greeks' insatiable desire for party boats. So much for my article, and so long to the Chicato Fern. <laughs> you guys, I've got it. I think I've figured out how Katie and Alan can be less boring. Oh, Gretchen is having her first light bulb moment. Brace yourselves, people. Katie, Alan, you finally caught up to the fact that you're tragically boring. But good news. You're in some freaking Jezebel. People from all over the world come here to let loose, to go wild. So you should too. Hmm, you don't look too stoked about that. 
I think we can handle that. Wait, I think I might be having a light bulb moment of my own. Janice, you need a boat to take you to the eco reserve. It just so happens Regina recently met a friend who cannot wait to get her out onto the water. It's his very own boat. No way. If you saw this Chaz Creek, the last thing you'd want is to be alone with him in the middle of the ocean. Come on, Regina. After Janice got you out of the book burn fiasco last year, you owe her this. You're not hearing me. I get on that boat and you'll never see me again. We should be so lucky. <laughs> Hear me out. Regina can tag along, snap some pictures, then give a presentation about the importance of environmental preservation in St Jezebel. And that's how we get the local angle of those Stacey girls we'll be going for. There's no way those bleach blonde nightmares would set foot on an eco-reserve, so we're guaranteed to have the upper hand with our presentation. They built a school. Some little PowerPoint presentation of my nature hike is not going to make a dent. Maybe if I'm in a bikini? <laughs> what if you did, like, a fundraiser? We could have a killer party to raise awareness and get a buttload of money to save the Chicago Fern. I do throw a good party. Play along so Chaz will take Janice out there. Hmm, that sounds like a good plan. You'll come back that afternoon and then he can scoop Janice up at the end of the week when she's done with her investigation. Well, look at you, Green Eyed Jemsical. Fashionista of the Month and Greek Conference Mastermind. Thanks, Regina. What about me? Sometimes, if you drop your phone on concrete, it boosts the signal. No way! <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> you know what? I think I've been freaking out about nothing all along. Everything with Mika is fine. We love each other. And I really think we have a shot at this scholarship. Good. Crazy was a bad look on you. I agree. Fight it, paranoia. I'm going up on the roof to try Mika again. I have to tell him the good news. Greenard, I can't do this anymore. Oh, I need a break. Just in a text to say I need a break. What a funny thing to do. And that is the end of episode two. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you are playing this, click the link down below in the description to get your 10 free gems and 10 free passes. Join me soon for episode three. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.